Vadim, don't start. I know what I'm doing. You don't understand how scary it is to lose yourself. Or a part of yourself. Wait, wait. Nina Pavlivna, uh, what are you doing? Let go. You're bad. Let go. Let me go. I need to see my daughter now. Please just Calm let down me go. Now. Please. Nina Pavlivna, please sit. Come on. I'll bring you something to eat. What do you want? Stay calm. Stay calm. Listen, did you happen to hear any rumors when they'll open up my lab? Well, it's almost finished. Soon you will return to your cave. And sit there like Gollum over your precious ring. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. To be honest, I'm tired of running to the third floor every day. It would be great if I find out who arranged and executed the explosion. Stefa, tell me, are you watching a detective series? Do you read some forensic books or hearing some voices? Is the burning bush talking to you yet? Huh? No. Laugh as much as you want, but I'm sure that the laboratory was blown up intentionally. You know, I'm also wondering about that explosion. I think and <gasps> analyze... Victoria Vladimirovna, I don't believe my ears. Do you think that too? That someone blew it up. I was just thinking about if someone had taken responsibility for their job, it would have never happened. And now this someone is inventing some silly versions to cover for themselves. By the way, this someone is still negligent about their responsibilities. The patient was brought in and there's no one in the reception. I'll see you later. I think it would be more justifiable to suspect Stefa, don't you think? What do we have here? She was admitted on suspicion of heart failure earlier. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling now? Any pain? The sun. The sun was on the balcony. It was very hot. It cooked my soup. And then I fell. Oh. Alzheimer's disease? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Heart tones are muffled, dyspnea. Her blood pressure is already 138 over 90. Hmm. Well, there's not enough information. And did anyone come with her? At least from the nursing home? Oh, yeah, the nurse is waiting in the hallway. Mm hmm. Test her blood for sugar and thyroid hormones. I'll talk to the nurse. Mm hmm. She has Alzheimer's disease. I figured that out. What I meant was pain, pressure surges, bloody stools. Everything she's ever complained to you about. Uh, you know, uh, she rarely went to the toilet to pee. And I clean the diapers every night. It was dry, although she drinks a lot. Mm-hmm. Ira, make sure to perform an ultrasound and take a catheter urine test. If renal failure is detected, perform hemodialysis. Okay. Are you finished? I'll be taking the patient. Okay. Here. Take these. These are her old photos. It can be handy sometimes. Mm-hmm. When you need her to calm down, you can use that. Um, does she have some clearances? Yes. Just a few.
Stefania. Ah, ah, ah. Well, at least this time no one was blown up. Are you hinting on something? No. I'm telling you straight. Everything that happens in the lab is your responsibility. If there's a gas explosion, you didn't close the cylinder. And everything that happened is the result of your utter negligence. So have the courage to admit it. I have nothing to admit to you. I am not guilty of the explosion. But someone is. I have no doubt about that. Ihor Sadyevich was badly injured. Oksana Petrovna even lost a child. And you aren't ashamed of it? You know if I were you. I would have resigned the very same day that it happened. Or maybe I'll just be a coward and be scared to look into the eyes of the people that I've caused pain upon and act like like nothing happened. Clean this up, coward. started the morning well. I had <clears throat> a difficult morning. I see that. Those hangovers are the worst. I saw that you were acting very strange during yesterday's shift. Give it to me. Come on now. Will you return it later? If I see it again, write a letter of resignation. Now sober up, wash your face, and do it now. Questions? Now get back to work. Bastard. You don't need to remind me. I know you're a bastard. Warning. Unconscious patient incoming. Surgeon and traumatologist are needed in the ICU. This is for you. It's me. Me! <laughs> You're very beautiful. This is Nastya. Niyora. Nadia. I... I forgot. <laughs> I forgot everything. Hey, just stay calm. It's all right. And who is this? I don't know. But I'm sure this is someone very important to you. Very important. Do you want me to call Nurse Masha in here? No. I don't need Masha. She's bad. My daughter. 
She said she's not allowed. I don't need Masha. I I don't need Masha. I don't need Masha. All right, all right, I understand. I understand. <laughs> they say there's nothing left of the car. Totaled. Did both of the airbags work? It worked, from his side, but from the passenger. Hmm. hmm. It still wouldn't have helped with anything. As I was told, the child wasn't fastened. Who will tell him? Well, we only have two options to choose from. <sighs> oh, Lord. What could be more traumatic than burying your own child? It's hard to lose a child on your watch. I'll tell him. Are you sure? I can tell. You probably feel really terrible now. I'll tell him. Yes, we agreed on meeting tomorrow. Victoria, may I? Let's make an appointment for tomorrow. Thank you. I saw Kovalchuk earlier. She rushes into battle with new forces. Maybe the post of head of the PV is no longer available. Let's wait for the first failure and then see. I am now more enraged by her subordinates. Steffa, she, she likes to stick her nose in. So bring her down. How? She does not respect my authority. <laughs> Do you have any more options? Well, if I were the head of the department, there would be no problems. I would have already fired her in five minutes. <laughs> Becoming the head of the department and firing an intern are different things. We need more time. And why do you dislike Steffa so much? Should I know something? Maybe. <laughs> I just want to weaken Oksana's team and strengthen ours. <laughs> Oksana Patrina, the results of the analysis were delivered from the lab. Oh. Hormones are normal. So it's not hyperthyroidism. Then what is it? Let's take a look. Ira, how is Nina Pavlivna? She's such a cheerful grandmother. She talks about her photos all the time. Also, she asked to eat more. Hmm. However, she always says she's hot. So dialysis helped. There are no organic changes in the kidneys, but why is her weight so light, hmm? Not enough food? Oh. Old people are being bullied, especially in nursing homes. Her daughter said not to entertain her nurse. Masha? And she said Masha is bad. Maybe she's bad because she doesn't feed her? It's necessary to check her. Uh, surprisingly, for some reason, he's not conscious yet. Agreed. The injuries are not that serious. Maybe we missed something on the CT scan. I suggest doing it again, only this time with highlighted contrast. As for me, everything was clear there. It will soon be fine. Let's do it. It won't be difficult. Well, let's do it. Well, this one's the color of a carrot. Granny Halia, what do you think? It looks the same as before. No way, it's not the same, Granny Alia. Here, look. Color fuchsia. Mm. This is ruby and um, ripe cherry. I'm not confused. It's red even if you ask anybody. Mm -hmm. Listen, it's time for you to see an ophthalmologist. You can't tell a difference between carrot Oy. and a purple one, apparently. I think you should clear your opinion about colors. Why do you even stick to red lipstick? There's pink and beige and even colorless lipstick. Have you heard of this? What's the point of colorless lipstick? To look pale and deceased? No, thank you. You should try. Just look at your lips. A car couldn't cross the road. It's waiting for your lips to turn green. Ugh.
Nina Pavlivna, are you looking for this? Yes. She's my daughter. So small. Mashka is so bad. Mashka forbids me to see her. Are you restricted? By your nurse Masha? She says I'm not allowed to see her. And I can't eat. Um, if you want, I can find your daughter. She can come see you here. You are very kind. Here's the second portion. I'll feed you now, Nina. The second? She would have eaten a third one. But our doctor does not allow it. But she always eats two servings. She has a very big appetite. But does not gain weight. You have a difficult job. Is there a simple job? I went to work there in my own free will. I feel sorry for them, you know? Nobody needs them. There are no relatives either. Or they have refused not to have any troubles. They lack patience to take care of old people. Tell me, what kind of heartlessness does a person have to reject a mother? Nina Pavlivna complained about you. She said you wouldn't let her see her daughter. I wish someone even came. Her daughter ignores her. She doesn't even come and visit her. So I just tell her that we're on quarantine, that she is not allowed. I'm lying. I don't mind. If she's going to be angry with me, it's for her own good. Anna Hirorivna. Ah. Ramon, good day. Sorry, but... I know you're going to say you're in a hurry. But I'm really in a hurry. I have a scheduled patient in five minutes. I know. Who are you? Do you happen to remember the name of your patient? Did you make an appointment with me? And I wonder, what is your psychological problem? The woman of my dreams does not answer my phone calls and I... I want to know why. <sighs> well, alright. Let's go. The bouquet needs to be delivered to the hospital. No, not to a patient, to a woman. <sighs> yes, it's a date. Uh, uh, which kind of a bouquet? A nice one. Uh, what, what do you mean, what kind? Uh, flowers are just flowers. What strain of flower? Uh, tell me, are there many strains? Uh, oh, wow. Uh, and should a... Normal person know all of this? Eeyore, why are you bothered? Order roses. It's simple and beautiful. Mm? Oh. Um, ma'am, you know what? Uh, can you just deliver all the roses and just add everything that you want there? Anything beautiful. No pressure. Whatever's pretty. Uh huh. Thank you. Oksana Petrivna, please wait. I need to talk to you for a minute. Do you have a new business plan? Do you want to stop accepting people with incomes below middle class level? 
It's regarding the explosion in the laboratory. I would like to know what measures you will take to ensure that the situation will, in any circumstances, not happen again. It seems to me that the best way to prevent these things from happening is to stop bugging people from their work or duty and allow them to do their job in peace. Can you use the example of Sereda? Show people that negligence in this hospital will not go unpunished. Uh, the investigation cleared Stefa. And I will not allow to interrogate my subordinates without reason. Uh, Oksana Petrivna, you are absolutely right. How silly of me. You can't sack Sereda yourself. You lost a child because of her. And everyone will think that it's you settling accounts. But if you want, I can deal with this myself. What do you think? Thank you, Victoria Vladimirovna. But if I were you, I would think of my own loss. <laughs> and what did I lose? Your confidence. And if I decide to fire one of my doctors, I will do it without any subtle hints. Who's this? <laughs> Probably your old friends. This is you. What's her name? What are their names? I forgot. Well, how's our patient here? Better. Oksana Petrivna prescribed her dialysis in time. Obviously, it helped. Dialysis? And when was it done? Well, as soon as she arrived. It's after you took the tests. Kovalchuk asked me about her blood. I said you did everything. And she sent her in for hemodialysis. For the first time? That's right. Didn't you take the blood? When she was in the room? Yes, but I think I was really wrong. I was wrong. Uh, I... What are their names? Are you very busy? I can't establish the diagnosis. What do you have? I have a new patient, Roman. Do you remember the one who was admitted when there was an explosion here? Um, mm, yes, I remember. He asked for psychotherapy. Hmm. Right. Got it. I'll tell you later. What about your diagnosis? Hmm, they brought a patient with Alzheimer's disease. She lost consciousness and was brought to us. Chronic depletion, some heart problems, and had shortness of breath. But the test didn't confirm thyrotoxicosis. Um, can Alzheimer's give that much symptoms? <laughs> Not depletion. And she eats normally, I saw it. At the same time, doesn't gain but loses weight. Diabetes? Hmm, no. You know... It could be parasites. Ascarids. Those are the symptoms for it. I need to check. Let's see. Here. Judging by the results, he has encephalomyelitis. It would be clearer if it wasn't for the accident. He may have been ill. A fever or a cold. It could later develop into severe inflammation. Nausea. Dizziness. Just anything. Maybe. But how do we interview him? The man suddenly fainted. 
Um, where's the bag that was with him? Mm-hmm. Let's go through his stuff. Anti-inflammatory? I thought so. And to confirm encephalitis, you need what? Lumbar puncture. Well done. Perfect. Now that Victoria is making me the suspect, telling everyone that I'm to blame for the explosion. And on top of that, this analysis. But you didn't know that hemodialysis was prescribed. So what? I had to warn Oksana Petrovna that I later took some blood again. Now she'll definitely fire me. Mm. And it would be right. Oh, think, Steph, I think. Oh, you can say that. You're infected with Alzheimer's from a patient. <laughs> it's not funny. Oksana Petrovna? How are you doing? I can't diagnose these test results. I've already checked everything. Thyroid hormones are normal. There's no parasites. Although it can be... Inherited metabolic disease. But they appear at an earlier age. I'm sure you'll find out. The main thing is... To not forget about yourself sometimes. Have you had lunch? Yes. Tea. Tea? <sighs> Don't worry, I'll look out for myself. But my patient forgets herself, and I have to take care of her. Don't take everything to heart. Vadim, don't start. I know what I'm doing. You don't understand how scary it is to lose yourself. Or a part of yourself. I would not do such a job in my life. And what makes this worse than others? Oy. Oh, old people are all the same. Always in a bad mood, trying to please them. Nobody pressures you to, like the color of your lipsticks. Granny Halia, you don't need to worry. I will not live to old age with this work. Don't say that. All my colleagues thought that too. They're lonely and spend so much time at nursing homes. Although we try hard, every evening shift is the same. They're very lonely, isolated. From reality. Right. I'll go and have some fun. A mop and a bucket. Ain't it fun? <laughs> I just don't understand it. Hi, this is Kovalchuk. Urgent tests for thyroid hormones were brought to you just this morning, right? Why were they done in just two hours? Well, how is it on time? They were brought in at 9 and you finished at 11. Did you finish at 11? Is that true? I don't understand. Uh, thank you. This man is still unconscious after the accident. Mm. And when he regains consciousness, Zakrevsky must tell him that his son died. Quiet. What are you talking about? The chief said not a word about it. Look, don't say it in front of Kovachuk. Yes, I know. Let's do it later. Well, I wonder if she heard. He has acute multiple encephalomyelitis of bacterial etiology. He needs methylprednisolone and antibiotics. Yes, we'll also add angioprotectors and nootropics. So he's not to blame for the accident? I don't know. Maybe he fell asleep. 
behind the wheel or lost sight. So he's not guilty of his son's death? I don't know. What's the difference between the two? It's impossible to accept the death of your own child. Thyrotoxicosis, as I thought from the beginning. It's my fault, Oksana Petrovna. I let you down with my analysis. There was just uh, one problem after another. In short, I took blood again after the hemodialysis. Yes, I know. But you should have told me right away. We lost a lot of time. Yes. And I'm ready to take responsibility for that. I think you've already taken it. But be careful. Very careful. And don't give Victoria an extra reason to insist on firing you. Oksana Petrivna. Huh? We need to talk. We'll do it fast. A consultation? No. It's about Stefa. Hmm? She's not guilty of anything. Please don't fire her. But I wasn't going to fire her anyway. Uh... I didn't know that you liked Stefa. What made you think I liked her? I just decided to stand up for a colleague. I'm sure she's not to blame for the explosion. Consider that, too. Well, of course. Alex. What happened? Hmm? Where is Ilya? Where is my son? Yuri, you... got into an accident. And, um, most likely you got sick on the way. Where is my son? Uh, your son. Your son passed away before the ambulance arrived. I'm really sorry. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I'm sorry. I'm the one to blame. My boy. My little one. It's all my fault. Where is my boy? My boy! <laughs> What happened? My son? Ilya. Where is Ilya? Where is my son? Post traumatic syndrome? I'm not sure. Where is my child? Oh, um, Yuri, do you understand me? Ilya died. It can't be. It can't be! Bring Hana quickly. Calm down, calm down. 
breathe quietly. Calm down. Shh, 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 shh. Calm down. Relax. Calm down. How do you feel now? All right. <laughs> Breathing well. There's a lot of air. <laughs> Perfect. She came. Finally, my daughter came. My daughter. She came. She came. Oh, she came. I won't leave you anymore. I'm so glad. I'm so very glad. Are you glad I'm here? Yes. With you. With you. With you, of course, Mom. <laughs> Remember, I'm always here for you. You're with me. You're with me. Hide this well. <laughs> Doctor, tell me please, where is my son? Why are you so silent? Where is he? How long? About half an hour. Why are you so silent? Where's my son? Short-term memory loss. Everything is fine with your son. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. After Oksana finds out that you lied, she'll stop talking to you. Forever. That I know. These are not lies. This is mercy. Where are you going? I have a delivery. Here's the order form. Uh-huh. Don't poke me with that form. And I see the flowers. Will you go through the hall? Yes. Well, then Inha will see the flowers. It should be a surprise. Who's Inha? This is for Ihor Kolimietz. It's written here. It is also written in there. Give me the flowers. No, I'll give them to the No, that is not allowed. I must give them to the customer. How stubborn are you? I am Ihor Kolimietz. I don't believe you. It's not a conspiracy, genius. Now give it to me, before you get hurt. Your signature. Sign it yourself. The pen is with you, right? Nina Pavlivna has a strong body. She'll recover as soon as possible. Thank you. For what? Don't ask. I have seen and met many doctors in my life. Not everyone treats the elderly with such empathy. There were those who did not want to give her treatment. They said that she doesn't have much time left. I see you're worried about your patients, right? I'm worried. Who else would? I feel connected with Pavlina. I feel sorry for her in a humane way. Her family is completely indifferent to her. Looks like your family to her now. Well, I don't mind. I still have to take good care of her. I just feel bad for lying about pretending to be her real daughter. Well, if she's better off with that, with her daughter around, it's not a lie. That's Mercy. May I come in? Come in. Did you come from Maxim's patient? You know? Who told you? The nurses were talking. I overheard. And why didn't you tell me? Vadim forbade. 
He warned all the staff not to tell you anything. He said you shouldn't know about a patient whose child passed away because of him. Vadim? And Max? How is he? Not well. It was difficult for him. Can you talk to him? <laughs> Max. Mm hmm. I was just thinking. Today I even envied what happened to Yuri. Envied? Why are you jealous? I saw a person with short term memory loss, and it's exactly what I need. <clears throat> I see you're seriously preparing. Oh yes, very. I don't know what tie to wear, though. Which one? This or this? It's better without a tie. <sighs> I thought so. And where will you take Inha? Sushi? Steakhouse? <sighs> you know, Max, if it weren't for that explosion in the laboratory, Inha and I might not get along with each other. So I decided to order dinner at the laboratory. It all started there. Let it continue there. Moreover, the repairs there are almost done. Well, I'm surprised you're romantic. Uh-huh. I'm also surprised. You know, I'll be... I'll be leaving your house for another couple of days, and I'll stay somewhere else, okay? Hmm? And where will you go? I don't know yet, but I'll manage. Hmm. <sighs> well, how do I look? Very well. You look like a groom. Great. All right, stop. What? Leave the vase. Ah. Oh. Eeyore, take the flowers. Well, well, I think it's time for me to forget. Need something? Uh huh. A patient is hidden from me in my department. Can you tell me what's that about? Yes, you can't hide anything anymore in our team. I don't understand why. It's for you. I didn't want you to be upset again. <sighs> Vadim, I need to know everything that's going on here. And believe me, I am much stronger than you think. There's no doubt about that. Okay, we agreed. I will not hide anything else. I promise. Okay. It seems the rain has stopped. Do you have an umbrella? No. Well, take mine instead. Did you bring your car? My car's being repaired. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Here it is. I'll just be waiting for the right time when you're really ready to love me. Thanks for the umbrella.
crazy? It's late. I'll call the police right now. Hello. Hello. Uh, can I... 